Hey guys, it's Katie. So, as you can tell from the title of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my growing collection of various rings that I have accumulated over the past year. It's a nice day outside. Today's my mom's birthday, so that's why I'm like kind of all done up and I got the nose cuff in. Honestly, YouTube's probably seeing the nose cuff more than anyone else because I'm in a mask 90% of the time when I'm outside, so let's get to it, shall we? Oh, and remember to stay hydrated, y'all. I bought this at the, the tenor less, which is what I'm calling the Dollarama now because it's not a dollar no more, it's the tenor less. Hit up the tenor less, y'all. They got, they got some pretty nice things for over a dollar, but less than 10. Not sponsored, by the way. First of all, Let's go with this journey started. I just, I never like my hands. Like here, here they are. I played basketball for years, so I was validated then because I could grip a ball with one hand. But now that I'm not playing anymore and I see them day to day, I just want them to not be like this. But obviously I can't do that. So I decided to compensate by making them pretty. And since I'm not getting any hand tattoos any time soon, I decided to compensate with the rings. So yeah, just a, a, a journey to self-discovery and self-love by overzealous spending. We love to see it. It's really hot out by the way and the sun keeps dipping in and now and my camera keeps overheating. Okay, so I think we're gonna get into the rings that I didn't really care too much for. I just kind of bought with the other ones and then we're gonna move up to my favorites okay and obviously I'll show you guys close-ups as we move along let us move so first up is this super cute lavender um, kind of chunky ring with a little butterfly on the inside it's very cute detail so that's why I got it that was my first ring over here here's my second one that I got um, I think I got them from Fraser Sterling. Um, obviously, I'm not promoting any of them. I mean, I, I couldn't look at this channel, but yeah, really cute. Uh, it's a yin and yang one. I wanted to get the black and gold, but they didn't have it in stock, obviously. I mean, that looks freaking sick, but I do have a pure gold yin and yang ring. Ugh, that I'd also like to try. Honestly, my sister said that chunky rings are going to look really bad on me, but I feel like she's just being a hater. Um, because my fingers are so long, right? Like, why would I wear chunky rings when I wear delicate ones? But I don't like that style too much. I like the bigger the better, you know? That's just me. Um, but yeah. And here's my K ring that I got here. It can fit on my pinky, I think. Yeah, it's my pinky ring. So I just thought that was a really cute embellishment. I usually see like K's done in like, you know, that kind of look tacky, but I thought this was pretty subtle, you know, pretty cute. And here is like my pride and joy. I really love this ring. It's my thumb ring. It's really nice for when you gotta clack on shit and annoy the fuck out of everyone around you. It's really great for that. Love that for my ring. It also has like really cute um, engravings all along the side of it. And I thought it was really cute. Also, none of these rings have rusted so far, which is great in a panini pandemic. Sorry, I keep calling it a panini in a, in a pandemic. So obviously with the sanitizing and whatnot and what have you, you want to stay safe and you want to have cute jewelry at the same time, but you don't want it to rust. So yeah, these were a bit pricey, just letting you know because they don't rust. I didn't get that cheap shit. You know what I mean? Um, but if you guys want any links down below, let me know. The next up is this snakey snake. Snakin. Um, this is really cute. It reminds me of Taylor Swift. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It has like little diamond jewels on the inside of it. And also the eyes are jeweled as well, which I thought was so cute. And I just really like the shape of the... Of the snake as well very realistic the details are amazing and it doesn't rest life is good I think I got this on sale at boho moon again I'm linking absolutely nothing ask me if you want to see any of these rings down below we got my freebie so this came with the order of these two rings 
I mean three rings, sorry. The K, the lavender butterfly, and the blue and white yin and yang. It came with this little buddy. So this is kind of the ring that they show on the advertisement when they're trying to hook you into spending money on things that you don't need. And it worked! Honestly, I thought it was going to be cuter. It's kind of like rusted on the edges here. I'll probably show you when I do a close-up later. But like, yeah, it just looks dirty, so... What's up with that? It didn't look like this in the advertisement. It wasn't all rusted around the smiley face, but whatever. As you can see, that's like the only silver jewelry that I have because I don't be buying silver jewelry. Because I just think gold looks better on melanin. Obviously. And we have second to last over here. Piece de resistance. This is the whole reason why I actually got this order. And it's the mushroom ring. You've probably also seen this on Instagram. And yes, I did buy it. And yes, it is one of my favorite rings to this day. To this day. Like, this is the reason why I don't hate my fingers no more. Like, as soon as I just put this one ring on, I'm cute. My hands are cute. I don't care about my gross hand veins and how my tendons be sticking out all weird and shit. I don't gotta think about that. I got my cute ring on, okay? I don't gotta think about it. Um, the problem with most of these is that they are a size too small. I got a 6 in all of them and I should have gotten a 7 if I wanted them to fit like my middle finger or my pointer finger better. This is gonna be a bitch to take off later. And this one too. Actually, this one's a bit loose. Never mind. I was about to lie. It still fits. It still fits, but it's just gonna be harder to take off later. I also have a lot of midi rings as well, cause I love midi rings, but like that shit is not practical, ever. That's for like an Instagram picture, and then you take that shit off and put it in your pocket so you don't lose it. Okay, midi, midi rings are cute in theory, not very cute in practice. And I actually lied, this is the third last ring that I have to show you guys. It is also a thumb ring. It's a size 7 as well, I believe. Um, and I got these two from Bobo Moon. I ha I've had these for like a year now, like maybe a couple, like a lot of months, many months, 16 months, okay, let's just say and I'm in love. It's basically just like um, numbers written in Roman numerals and it has like a little jewel in between each every three numbers which I thought was really really cute because um, I don't know how to tell time so I just thought it was like really ironic and funny that I would get a Roman numeral ring. I usually wear it on my right hand which is my dominant hand so, as you can see when I show you closer, no wear or anything, very good quality, none of the jewels have fallen out, and it's been several months, so I'm a happy customer. Okay, the piece to the resistance, actually I'm going to take these ones off so I can put these other ones on. Ooh. <gasps> this I've had in my wish list for maybe a year. For a year, for a year. Because they always coming up just under three bills and I could never justify it in my life. And then they had a 70% off sale and I said, hey, what a wonderful kind of day to spend money and learn to love myself better. You know, learn to love, I was like, listen, this is for self love. This is a self love investment for this ring. I've wanted this ring and now I have it. And look at me, a smile on my face, serotonin's higher than it's ever been. It's working. Retail therapy, it works. But yes, <laughs> so it has like three blue opals in the middle here. Obviously they're not real opals or else this would have been like a million dollars, but they're nice enough. They have like a really nice reflection going and then it has four jewels adorning each side of the jewelry. And also the, the metal band is like black metal. Fuck yeah, okay. Okay, the fuck? Hell yeah. Are you dumb? If I find any more of these, I'm buying them. Listen, it's either the black metal or the gold. That's it for me to be old oh, shot. I accidentally showed the last one, but yeah. This one's for like when I'm feeling a little bit more bougie. And I can just slip it on. It's also a size 6 as well, so I'm an idiot, but... I mean, I can still slip it on the other fingers. It's just at least going to take a week for it to come off. You know, they're going to have to get the... 
the firefighters involved, and they're gonna have have to help me clamp this shit off of my. I don't know why I put this on here for the gram, but anyway, they're gonna have to clamp this off me later. The fire department. So stay tuned for that vlog. So here's the last ring that I got. And it is my favorite one. I must say it is my favorite. Look at her. I know she looks like the last ring. I know she does. But she's slightly different. She's slightly different. And you will be able to tell when I show you later. Okay. This is a deeper opalite blue than the first one that I showed you. So pretty. It reminds me of the sea. Love the sea. Um, it is also reflective on the inside as well. It has like little broken reflective pieces on the inside and It's just a single gem with small purple gems around the top and bottom covering it And then it has two little flowers on the side with two purple gems in the middle And then I think ten adorning the side other than that and the back is so cute It's like literally a loop y'all like this is adorable Like this is really nice craftsmanship like, I could stare at this all day. Like, I love me a good ring, y'all. I swear to God. And this one, I don't mind that I got it smaller because, honestly, I'm only going to be wearing it on my ring finger. Like, this is it. This is it for me. She is so cute. Yeah. I, I believe that is my ring collection. Like LeBron, I got all my rings on. So, I'm just going to show y'all what they look like. Obviously I shouldn't be wearing them all at the all at once. I'm not going to, but I just wanted y'all to see the vision a little bit. That's for the thumbnail. That's for the thumbnail. And my camera's acting up, so I'll see you guys next time.